Gracious God, thank you for the gift of today. Refresh me. Invite me to discover your presence in each person that I meet and every event that I encounter. Teach me when to speak and when to listen, when to ponder and when to share. In moments of challenge and decision, attune my heart to the whisperings of your wisdom. As I undertake ordinary and unnoticed tasks, gift me with a simple joy. When my day goes well, may I rejoice. When it grows difficult, surprise me with new possibilities. When life is overwhelming, call me to Sabbath moments to restore your peace and harmony. May my living today reveal your goodness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. One who walks blamelessly and does justice who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her.
to sit at your feet where your love surrounds me and makes me complete this is my desire oh lord this is my desire This is my desire to rest in your presence, not rushing away to cherish you. Creator God, your world is a busy place. Teach its leaders the things that are necessary. Justice for the oppressed and the exploited. Compassion for the hungry and the destitute. Peace between individuals and communities and nations. We pray that they may choose what is best. God of our lives, help us to put your kingdom first. Saviour God, people are very busy. Teach them the things that are necessary, healthy and loving relationships, purpose and spiritual depth in life, caring for those who need comfort and help. We pray that they may choose what is best. God of our lives, help us to put your kingdom first. Spirit of God, your church is a busy community. Teach her the things that are necessary. A joyful and obedient faith unity in love for one another, self-giving love for your world. We pray that your church may choose what is best. God of our lives, help us to put your kingdom first.
O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Wherever we go, may the joy of God the Gracious One be with us. Wherever we go, may the face of Christ the Kindly One be with us. Wherever we go, may the encompassing of the Holy Spirit be with us. Wherever we go, may the presence of the Holy Trinity of Love be around us to bless us and to keep us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all the peoples of the world today and forevermore. Amen.